Alexios the Fourth Angelos or Alexius IV Angelus, Greek Alexios Delta Angelos C, 1182 to 8 February 1204, was Byzantine emperor from August 1203 to January 1204. He was the son of Emperor Isaac II Angelus and his first wife, an unknown Palaiologina, who became a nun with the name Irene. His paternal uncle was Emperor Alexius III Angelus. Prince in exile The young Alexios was imprisoned in 1195 when Alexios III overthrew Isaac II in a coup. In 1201, two Pisan merchants were employed to smuggle Alexius out of Constantinople to the Holy Roman Empire, where he took refuge with his brother-in-law Philip of Swabia, King of Germany. According to the contemporary account of Robert of Clary it was while Alexius was at Swabia's court that he met with Marquis Boniface of Montferrat, Philip's cousin, who had been chosen to lead the Fourth Crusade, but had temporarily left the Crusade during the Siege of Zara to visit Philip. Boniface and Alexios allegedly discussed diverting the Crusade to Constantinople so that Alexios could be restored to his father's throne. Montferrat returned to the crusade while it wintered at Zara and he was shortly followed by Prince Alexios's envoys who offered to the crusaders 10,000 Byzantine soldiers to help fight in the crusade, maintain 500 knights in the Holy Land, the service of the Byzantine navy 20 ships in transporting the crusader army to Egypt, as well as money to pay off the crusaders' debt to the Republic of Venice with 200,000 silver marks. Additionally, he promised to bring the Greek Orthodox Church under the authority of the Pope. The Venetians and most of the leaders were in favor of the plan however some were not and there were defections, including Simon of Montfort. In 1202 the fleet arrived at Constantinople. Alexios was paraded outside the walls, but the citizens were apathetic, as Alexios III, though a usurper and illegitimate in the eyes of the Westerners, was an acceptable emperor for the Byzantine citizens. Emperor. On 18 July 1203 the Crusaders launched an assault on the city, and Alexios III immediately fled into Thrace. The next morning the Crusaders were surprised to find that the citizens had released Isaac II from prison and proclaimed him emperor, despite the fact that he had been blinded to make him ineligible to rule. The Crusaders could not accept this, and forced Isaac II to proclaim his son Alexios IV co-emperor on 1 August. Despite Alexios' grand promises, Isaac, the more experienced and practical of the two, knew that the crusaders' debt could never be repaid from the imperial treasury. Alexios, however, had apparently not grasped how far the empire's financial resources had fallen during the previous 50 years. Alexios did manage to raise half the sum promised 100,000 silver marks, by appropriating treasures from the church and by confiscating the property of his enemies. He then attempted to defeat his uncle Alexios III, who remained in control of Thrace. The sack of some Thracian towns helped Alexios' situation a little, but meanwhile hostility between the rest of Crusaders and the inhabitants of Constantinople was growing. In December 1203 violence exploded between the citizens of Constantinople and the Crusaders. Enraged mobs seized and brutally murdered any foreigner they could lay hands upon, and the Crusaders felt that Alexios had not fulfilled his promises to them. Alexios refused their demands, and is quoted as saying, I will not do any more than I have done. While relations with the Crusaders were deteriorating, Alexios had become deeply unpopular with the Greek citizenry, and with his own father. Blinded and nearly powerless, Isaac II resented having to share the throne with his son. He spread rumors of Alexios' supposed sexual perversity, alleging he kept company with depraved men. The chronicler Nisadas Choniates dismissed Alexios as childish and criticized his familiarity with the Crusaders and his lavish lifestyle. At the beginning of January 1204, Alexios IV retaliated against the Crusaders by setting fire to 17 ships filled with inflammable materials and sending them against the Venetian fleet, but the attempt failed. <laughs> Deposition and death At the end of January 1204, the populace of Constantinople rebelled and tried to proclaim a rival emperor in Hagia Sophia. Alexios IV attempted to reach a reconciliation with the Crusaders, entrusting the anti-Western courtier Alexios Doukas Merziflis with a mission to gain Crusader support. 
However, Alexios Doukas imprisoned both Alexios IV and his father on the night of 27–28 January 1204. Isaac II died soon afterwards, possibly of old age or from poison, and Alexios IV was strangled on 8 February. Alexios Doukas was proclaimed emperor as Alexios V during Alexios IV's brief reign. The empire lost its territories along the Black Sea coast to the Empire of Trebizond. Topic: In popular culture. Alexios IV is mentioned in the Map of the Seven Knights episode of the fifth season of the Grimm TV series. He is mentioned as a pro-crusader. See also List of Byzantine emperors Notes <laughs> <laughs>